old T-Bone here. We all know G5 makes some fine stuff. Well, these boys have knocked it out of the park now. We got the new T3. It's an inch and a half cutting diameter. And, and also on this one is the, the blade angle. I'm real impressed with the blade angle. It's not real sharp and steep. Some of the other broadheads have a real tight, a real uh, flat, almost um, a chopping effect. Whereas G5 designed this one to where they're still laid back and you have a slicing, a fillet type blade on there so that it penetrates real well. It's not chopping, it's actually slicing. Does a lot more uh, uh, blood and artery tissue damage. Um, also, I got this little illustration here. Some of your, your two inch cut uh, broadheads, which everybody uh, kind of runs towards the two inch. Well, it's a two inch, true it is a two inch, but it's a slice. So it's, um, you don't have uh, the advantages of an inch and a half cut. You have three independent blades. And if you measure the surface area of each blade, um, it comes up to a total of three inches of cutting surface. Whereas with the two inch, it's 2.47. So you have a half, over a half inch more cutting surface on the three blade. And then the biggest thing is, is you have three independent flaps. You're going to have more blood loss with the three blade and you're going to have um, uh, the biggest advantage is, as we all know, blood trailing is you have three independent flaps where you see that these can't, these can't close up. So you have a more pronounced hole which allows that, all that blood loss that you're getting with the three blade to leak out onto the ground, means blood or better blood trails. And also it's, like G5 says, giving them the red carpet treatment. Whereas sometimes with a, with a two inch slice, um, you know, it, it tends to want to uh, fold up. You still have good blood loss, but it doesn't get out onto the ground so you don't have quite as good of blood trails. So those are the advantages to the three blade broadhead. Um, not to mention more surface area, so you have more artery and tissue damage. So, I think we've hit all the high points. If you're doing a pro and con checklist on a broadhead, this one's going to win out in a lot of ways. It's safe to say that the guys at G5 have truly hit a home run with this new T3 broadhead.